Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. <laughs> All right, it's September 16th on the uh, Heirloom Organic uh, Vegetable Garden update here. And uh, last night we got hit with uh, minus 0.1 degrees. It hit, uh, actually did, and you can see some damage here. The frost did to the pepper plants. But they're still flowering. Not all the uh, leaves got burnt by frost, just the very tops of the plants. But we had a whole new wave of cayenne flowers this week. They ain't gonna make it. So we're coming to the end of the season here. But the amount of uh, cayenne peppers inside these plants, I don't, I don't know if you can see this or not. I'm trying to get a good shot. It's, it's crazy the amount of peppers that are inside here. But that's the cayennes. So, but we're, uh, today we're gonna clean up some items. We're gonna maybe attack the carrots. The zucchinis uh, got destroyed last night by the frost. You can see the black leaves. Um, some tomato plants just didn't like it last night. Uh, we had the digital thermometer actually hanging in the tomato plants and that's where it was, uh, 0.1 below. You can see the beans got hit last night. They've changed color. They're all screwed up. But uh, we were hoping to get some seed off of these guys. Spaghetti squash are nice and yellow. They're gonna, we're gonna yank those out right now flip them over and uh, dry them and corn we should uh, if it doesn't get another bad frost it was supposed to go to minus three so point one wasn't bad but uh, it doesn't look like oh some of the leaves on the corn got hit seems right at the top oh and uh, of course these crazy pole beans they just keep growing they weren't even affected by the frost last night but uh, we're gonna have a whack of beans for the chickens so they end up going so oh. but today is carrot day and uh, some more be peppers and but the yeah, the frost just hit the very tops of the pepper plants over here it wasn't as bad on this one oh there's some frostbite there so we uh and of course the parsnips just love the frost they get hit with frost and they just come back even stronger they're gonna need, taste nice and sweet this fall they're getting frost this early so it was a cold night um, and they're calling for one more cold night Thursday, so we'll see how this week goes. Today's a beautiful day though. All right, here's a little update here on the squash today. We uh, harvested these uh, and there's about another 10 left to go down there that are just still green, so plants haven't finished. Some tomatoes from yesterday we, we uh, picked before the frost hit last night. All right, we just harvested our colorful carrots. I just want to show you uh, some of the size of these guys. Is a like a, we're talking like a foot, two inch diameter. Nice big red guy down there. Uh, there's lots of big guys, they're big carrots. So, and we got some wild carrots showing up. I forget the name of them. Uh, they cross pollinate. So some uh, some nice sized carrots. Seems like red this year is the predominant color, red and white. So not many uh, yellow or, or uh, orange ones. That's the update on uh, carrots. We're going to clean them up and uh, process them. This is the uh, number one threat we had to our pepper plants this year was uh, Rockle. He loves to lay against pepper plants. He rubs through them. He just ran through over here and busted off the branches. Uh, something about Rocky and the pepper plants. Rockle, sit. Come on. Sit up. Rockle, sit. Come on. Oh, I know, making you do things at your age, eh? Oh, you. You like pepper plants, don't you, for some reason? He loves the smell of them, stick close to them, rubs against them. I think that's why we have no critters in the garden, because uh, he just basically rubs himself all over the garden. All right, the update on our carrots. This is uh, what we got out of one row of carrots. Um, don't know the weight yet, but it's pretty good for one row. We're talking some big carrots. And they're still so soft, the knife just slipped right through them. So now we're going to throw them in a big tub of water and scrub them down and chop them up and uh, give them a quick blanch and we're going to freeze them today. Alright, it's a beautiful afternoon. This is our update on our carrots today. So we're going to be blanching here. I, we've sliced them all up. I, I've, it's about, it feels like about 65 pounds of carrots. So I've shown before how we've converted the barbecue. Put two steel bars in on the bottom. 
and right now we've got the uh, water's boiling so we're ready to blanch we've got our deep fryer uh, basket that we're using to blanch in so we can hang them inside the pots and then we throw them in here with the water running uh, as drain excess drains onto the lawn strain them here then they go inside to the operating freezer which is turned on a glue which is flash freeze at about minus 28 or minus 30 celsius and that's how we do our carrots